Hi everyone, it's time for the Jada Blossom November release hop. And I have a card and a quick little gift card holder to share. I'm using the Build a Christmas Tree die, the Snow Globe, die, Snow Globe dies, the Border dies, that little cloud one, and White Christmas. I'll be using some other stuff later in the video too. So I'm also using the Winter Wonderland pad and the matching odds and ends from Doodlebug. So I am making a shape card for you today using the snow globe die. So I cut three of the full piece um, globe shapes. Now I'm taking a Teflon bone folder and I'm scoring it uh, just at like half an inch down. And um, I'm just making a card base so the back will fold, not the front. There we are. So now I'm gonna fold that over and I'm just going to score it down so it bends easily. And then I'll be attaching a layer, um, the next layer on top. Now I'm using score tape to do this. So just super easy, less messy. You could use glue, you could use whatever you want, but I, I like the score tape for this. And um, this is actually paper from Recollections or like it's Michael's brand um, card stock for card bases. Uh, it's nice and sturdy, I like the weight. Uh, but it's not as white as like, say, Paper Tree Inc.'s white select cardstock, which I do prefer for white. So, um, but this is, you know, going to be covered up by other stuff. So I didn't mind using it here. So there we go. So this is the base of my shape card. Now I've got another layer. That's what I'm going to construct my snow globe on. So that pink paper is from the Winter Wonderland pad from Doodlebug. And I'm going to attach it to my card base or my card front, the front card layer, card layer that is. Um, with uh, ATG tape and some Nouveau glue. And I'm just going to be sticking that down. So this is a super easy snow globe. I actually thought for a bit to make a shaker, but I've already done a shaker on this uh, for this release. So I thought I'd just make a shape card. So now I cut out um, three of the, of the outside rings of the snow globe. And I'm sticking those down with uh, just the Nouveau glue. And I cut out two using that Recollections white cardstock. And then the top one is um, American Crafts white cardstock. And it's textured. And I use that because I use some more of that on the front of the card. And I just wanted the whites to be the same, if you know what I mean. Because sometimes when you, you know, there's different colors of white. And they, they just kind of look off when you have them next to each other. So now there's my weighted, uh, I just weight it down so it sticks. So now I've cut out a few layers of the base of the snow globe too. And I'm just sticking the, um, the paper on top. That pa top paper is also from Winter Wonderland. And now I'm adding my last layer of the circle. Or of the outside edge, I guess it is. That's that American Crafts cardstock, like I said. It's white and it's, um, you know, a little bit textured. There we go. I'm just sort of lining it up. I'm using liquid glue, well, because it's skinny and also because, you know, it's quite forgiving to get it on there. So now I'm going to layer my, um, my globe onto my card base. So I'm using HEG tape and I'll fill in the, you know, anything that I couldn't get to the edge with, with my Nouveau glue. There we go. So now I'm going to pop this guy on. There we are. Now I also cut a few of the bases um, out of some of that Recollections cardstock just so I could build it up. And I sort of cut it just to fit instead of using like a pop dot. That's what I did. So you'll see that later. So this is this piece of snow. So I used the inside uh, circle cut. Um, I cut it first out of the American Crafts cardstock and then I cut it using my, my uh, border die that I showed you before. Now that green paper is from Polar Pals from Doodlebug. And like I said, most, like if you choose paper all from, you know, one company, um, a lot of them go together and that's what I was going for here. So I used the um, teal kind of wood grain paper from Polar Pals and I'm just gluing it all down. The base there is a piece of Coordination's brown cardstock that I cut out with the stump die. Now you'll see that I'm not using the background die for this build a, build a tree um, dies because I'm making it shorter than normal. You can make the tree as tall or as short as you want. Candace did a longer one the other day on a, on a candy bar box and now I'm doing a shorter one in the globe. So super fun. So now I'm adding on the snow and I'm doing that with a Nouveau crystal drop or Nouveau glue again, sorry. 
And that is American Crafts cardstock, like I said. So anything, any white cardstock on the front of this card is American Crafts cardstock, just so you know it all kind of looks like the same color of white. And uh, lots of fun. And this is a super easy, you know, die set to put together. And uh, you can make, you know, like I've said before, you can make snow globes for any season. And it's lots of fun. So now I'm going to be um, just figuring out, I, I took one of those snow layers and then I cut it out so I could use it like just to cover the bottom of that trunk there to make it look like it's standing in the snow. So a little partial die cutting there, super fun and easy. Same paper. Now I'm adding, um, I'm gonna be adding on my snow globe, but first I've got a stamp on it. So I take the stamp, I, I take the stamp from that stamp set I showed you earlier. And what I did was I made little clips in the, um, like in the, in the stamp itself where there was no words, just so it would bend easily. So now I'm, I put my, what I'm stamping on into my Misty. I put a piece of acetate and I'm gonna arrange the stamp so it sort of follows the stitching on, my, on the bottom of my snow globe. And uh, it's easy to do because it'll stick down, like I said, onto the acetate. And then you can close the door of your Misty and pick up the stamp that way. And like I said, if you make little cuts into the top of the stamp set, like not getting into, into the words, but just into the outline of the stamp, it'll bend a lot easier for you. So that's what I did. So now I'm inking it up with VersaFine ink. And I'm stamping onto the acetate to make sure I have it where I want it. So now I have it lined up on my actual um, bottom of my globe. I'm checking it out, I like that. So now I'm going to stamp it onto the actual little wood base thing. So there we are. And I'm using this dry erase board eraser just to apply even pressure. And I only have to stamp this, can you believe it, one time? Like what are the chances? So super fun. So there's my base. And like I said, I added a few layers, see, of the bottom there, and I sort of cut out the top just so I didn't have to use any pop dots on that to make it the same uh, height as the globe because remember I put three layers around the edge. There we are. So now I'm adding that to the front of my base. And how cute is that? Look at a perfect little snow globe and super fast. Now I'm going to weight it down, let it dry. So now these are the images from the odds and ends that goes along with that paper pad. And I thought I'd use one of those and add it to the front of my card. Like how cute is that little snow snow buddy? Now you can build one. Jaded Blossom has some cute snowman dies. And I thought of that, but I thought I wanted to use this paper line. And you know, I, it's super easy. Like if you're not a colorer for Jaded, you don't wanna color images. You just wanna, you know, stamp a sentiment and be on your way. Like this is for you. You can mix some of these doodle bug odds and ends in with Jaded Blossom stuff and you can make adorable cards. Like just adorable. So there we are, we're just gonna pop up that little snowman. Isn't he cute? Too cute. And I use my Stampin' Up Dimensionals for that and my EK Success Reverse Tweezers just to get my fingers out of the way. That is my Secure White Jelly Roll Pen in a number 10. It's my favorite right now. I just add some freckles to her, to the little cheeks. Now I'm gonna add some glossy accents to the nose. When you're using these, sometimes you want you wanna add a little bit of uh, dimension with them. And that's how I do it. I add like a, a little dimension with the glossy accents. I'm just using a wood skewer just to make sure it goes right out to the tip, the glossy accents. Now I'm gonna add some Nouveau Crystal Drops in, in uh, ebony black, and I'm just going to add some to the buttons, just so you have, like I said, a little bit more um, dimension. Now I'm using Shape Sprinkles from Doodlebug. Those are the Warm Hugs and the Winter Wonderland ones. And um, I'm just gonna add, like I said, a few on here. And how cute is that? Like, I just love these doodle bug sets along with, you know, Jaded Blossom supplies. You just can't go wrong. So now I'm adding my favorite Nouveau Crystal Drops in white, just a few uh, white droplets to the background, you know, snow and, you know, just to draw some interest and have a little texture, you know, stuff like that. So how cute is that? I just love how this turned out. And you know, you just gotta put it off to the side so it dries, you don't get your hand in, in it, you know, make a mess. So there we go, making sure I've got like an odd number because you know, that's my jam. There we go. So now I'm making something else. Fair Isle sweater, or blah, blah, blah. I'm using the Fair Isle stencil, the stocking gift card dies, and the mini tags dies one. So now I'm using my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station and I've, 
cut out my uh, stocking out of Doodlebug's Wisteria cardstock that matches what I was going on going with earlier. I'm using a Tailored Expressions blending brush and some Dusty Concord ink. And I'm just going to ink right over the front of that stocking. You'll see I masked it off with some post-it tape. So it's just on the front. But like this is super easy. Like I said, Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. It's something you want if you're going to be doing some stenciling. And watch how this, this doesn't this turn out wonderful? It's perfect. So now I'm going to do some folding. I'm going to fold on the dotted line. Super easy to put this together. See, super fun. I'm using some score tape. Stick this down because I like I said, it's easy when you, you know, you can rip it off. It's super fun and easy. So there we go. Now this, uh, I decided to make this to go along with my snow globe. So there'll be like a matching set. So you can put a gift card in here, like I said, or candy or money or a treat or what, what have you. So there we are. So now I'm folded. And how cute is that? I love that. So now I'm using pattern paper. Uh, well, first of all, that is a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock. And I'm that's just the little hang tag. And I'm going to clamp it on with my reverse tweezers. Then I'll be sticking down my, um, these. this is plaid paper from the Winter Wonderland pad again. So I'm just going to be adding on the toe, the heel, and the top of the stocking. And there are three different types of stocking tops that you can do. I'm using the scalloped one, but there's one that kind of looks like a, um, an elf top, and then there's one that's just kind of plain. And I decided to go with the scalloped one. So lots of fun. Now I could have put even solid cardstock on there for this. I could have used white, whatever, but I decided to go with a pattern. You know, I'm kind of pattern driven. Using my Nouveau glue again. I'm just gonna line this up. There we go. Now, how cute is that? So now I'm gonna be stamping um, my uh, image. And that's that clear jar Christmas add-ons. And I'm using the Merry Christmas sentiment and I'm stamping it with VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto a white tag that I cut out from the mini tag dies um, and paper tray ink white cardstock again. So now I'm gonna poke a hole through this stocking, just the first layer. Probably should have done this before I folded it, but what are you gonna do? And I'm going to use an actual brad, I'm going old time here, old school. And uh, I don't even know the, the, you know, the, um, I'm not even quite sure of the um, brand of that purple, the brand of the brad, but anyway. So now I'm going to be going to be adding a few more of these little hearts. Those are those warm hug shapes sprinkles from Doodlebug. There we go. Aren't they cute? Just love it. And like I said, like that's a perfect little sentiment to go on a tag, right? So you could have like tied, tied a tag on with some twine and there's the back. Isn't that cute? I love how that turned out. Now you can just pop a little gift tag or a gift card, sorry, in there and then Bob's your uncle, you're done. So now I'm going to be adding a snowman to this because you know, why not? I've got a snowman on my snow globe. Let's use a snowman too from the odds and ends from the winter wonderland again. I'm popping that up with my Stampin' Up Dimensionals again. So like I said, super easy peasy. You know, you can whip these out super fast, no problem. There we go. Now I'm gonna add, like I said, some freckles with, with my secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10. And then I'm using my glossy accents again on the nose just to give it a little bit of dimension because you know, why not, right? And then I'm adding black Nouveau crystal drops for the buttons and the eyes because you know, why not? We'll add a little dimension. Uh, you know, it, just because it's easy doesn't mean it can't be pretty, right? So there we go. Added that on. And now I'm just making sure they settle nicely. Look how cute that is. And then lastly, um, I'm going to pop up a few little snowflakes from that same odds and ends pack. Now I could have used um, Nouveau Crystal Drops, but be aware that Nouveau Crystal Drops in white will pull leach the color from behind them, um, especially with Distress Oxide inks because it's water soluble. And I've also noticed on Doodlebug's cardstock, not on their paper, but on their cardstock, it can sometimes pull color from that. So just be aware of that. Because if you want them white, white, they're not going to be white, white. They might be a little purpley white. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and uh, checking out what I made today. Be sure to check out all the design team's designs over on the blog. 
Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye, everyone.